What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp estimating tutorial for you. So in this video I'm kind of continuing my series on using the extension Quantifier Pro in order to create estimates inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, just a reminder, enrollment in the SketchUp Essentials course is closing tonight at 11.59 p.m. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check that out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash course. Again, enrollment Enrollment for that course will be closing at 11.59 p.m. tonight. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we're going to be creating this estimate with the extension Quantifier Pro, which is from Mindsight Studios. I will link to this extension in the notes down below if you're looking for more information, as well as the rest of the playlist where we talk about this in depth. All right, so what I wanted to do is up to this point, we've kind of created our uh, base foundation here, as well as our exterior walls. And what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through what we could do to create some uh, or do some more structural estimating inside of Quantifier. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add some trusses and also some different materials in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this floor and I'm going to make that a group. And then inside of that group, I'm going to apply a material to that face. So I'm just going to go in here and under wood, I'll just apply a wood floor dark material or something like that. And so, the, and we'll look at this a little further in a little bit, but we're going to apply a cost to that material. So I wanted to make sure I had that material inside of this model. The other thing that can be a little bit helpful is if you keep your model organized over here in your uh, outliner here, that can really help you kind of um, that can really help you um, find things a little bit later when you're trying to apply cost to them. So in this case, we're just going to call this one our flooring assembly. And then this other assembly was our concrete foundation. So we're just going to name this concrete foundations. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add trusses and roofing in here using an extension called Medic Truss. So it's a really detailed truss extension. You could definitely add these in as groups manually or something like that if you wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and use that extension just to make this a little bit faster. So when I do this, what I want to do is I want to open up the extension Medic Truss and I will link to more information about that below. And what I really want to demonstrate is just the ability to apply costs to different objects no matter where they come from. So Quantifier is really good about um, giving you lots of different ways to apply costs to things in your model. So this is going to give me a whole bunch of options in here for different trust things. Uh, for the most part, I'm just going to leave them as is. I'm going to add in some uh, roof options. So things like I'm going to make sure that I sheathe the gable as well as add a material for the roof itself. So when I have all of those things in here, you can see how you can apply all of these inside of Medique Truss. But I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. We're okay with the gutter. And that's going to that's gonna come in here and that's going to create a roof with different trusses and things like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to come in here and draw another series of trusses, same options. just like this. And so what this is going to do is this is going to come in here and this is going to add our roofing and our trusses. And I want to focus on um, applying cost to those things. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the way that this created these. So you have an idea of the way this model is now set up. So what that's done is that's come in here and that's applied OSB board. That's applied roofing. That's also added items for each one of these trusses in here. And so now that we have these items in here, what we can do is we can use the extension quantifier in order to apply cost to these things. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to go back into our quantifier dialog and we're going to open this up. And if you remember what we've done before, a lot, a lot of what we've done is applying based on layer and material. Well, now I want to apply cost per object because each truss is going to have a cost associated with it. So you can see how when I do this, um, we're going to click on the button for object and then it's going to ask us to select a single group or component. So in this case, I'm going to select this component. So this is just going to be one instance of this truss. And note that these are all components, meaning these are all instances of the same object, um, meaning if you changed one, the others would change as well. Well, what that means is now every one of these within, uh, within SketchUp is going to get the cost associated with it that we add here. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
So we've selected one of our trusses, and now what we want to do is we want to click the plus button to add a cost item. And so adding a cost item is going to allow us to add cost that's associated with this particular truss. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a code in here, maybe like 060101 or something like that. And we're going to say that maybe this truss is $350. And there's no waste. We can go ahead and apply a tax rate of like 7.65 or something like that and click OK. Well now, if I click on this truss, you can see how this tells me that it has a cost of $376 um, applied to this particular object. Well, if you go through and you click on each one of these, notice that when you click on these, this is telling us that each one of these has that cost associated with it. Well, what that means is if I select this truss assembly and I click and I click the button for refresh, what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to find the cost associated with each one of these trusses. So you can see how I now have a cost associated with all of these trusses. Um, and what I want to do is I want to do the same thing for my trusses over here. So we're just going to go into our other truss group. So this is the group that gets created when we add the trusses over here and we're going to do the same thing. These are larger trusses so we're just going to go into our object we're going to click the plus button and we're going to add another truss. So we'll call this one 060102 and this one will have a unit cost of $500 with a tax rate of 7.65 percent and we're going to click OK. And so as soon as I do this, if I click the refresh button, you can see how each one of these trusses, as I refresh this, is going to have that cost associated with it. So now, if I select this truss assembly and click refresh, you can see how that's applied a cost to each one of those individual trusses that got placed in here. And that's really kind of the power of Quantifier, is it applied this to each instance of this assembly. So I didn't have to go in and add a cost for each truss individually. Um, I was able to add a cost for all of these trusses at once. And so we're not quite 100% done yet though, because what we want to do is we also want to add pricing in here for your roofing material. And so the way that I want to do that is I want to go in here and I want to click on material dollars. So what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to apply a cost to any area where that roofing has been applied. So what we want to do is we want to go down to the Medic Roof DB option. And so that's going to allow us to apply cost data to anywhere this Medic Roof material has been applied. And I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button. And we're going to add a code, maybe 0701 or something like that. And we're going to go ahead and apply a unit cost of, we'll say this whole assembly is going to run you something like $10 a square foot. I don't know how accurate that is, but we'll probably add maybe a 5% waste factor and then our tax factor again and click OK. Well now, if I was to go in here and I was to run a cost detail report, You can see how right now all this is doing is this is giving me a cost for the square footage material or the material that's been applied to this face right here. Well, we don't necessarily want that because we want this to give us a cost for all of this material. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to unhide this and we want to select both of these items. So you can see how when I select both of these items, if I was to run a cost detail report, this is going to show us that we've applied $350 to each one of these smaller trusses, $500 to each one of the larger trusses, and then a material cost of $10 a square foot to the roof. So what this allows us to do is this allows us to see kind of in aggregate what this assembly is going to cost. So the whole thing. And so one other thing we might want to do is we might want to go in here and we might want to find, I'm going to sample this material, this Medique Wall Hardy board assembly. So Medique Wall Hardy and apply a cost to that as well. So, and this one I think would be 0702. And so let's say this is going to run us $8 a square foot with 5% waste and 7.65% tax. And then we'll click OK. Well, now, if I select both of these, 
and I run that cost detail report, you can see how cost is being applied to the hardy board material as well. And so now let's take a look at this kind of as a whole. Um, because let's say, and I haven't done doors or anything like that, you could add doors in as individual objects just like we did before. Um, so now we've come in here and we've applied cost to all these different items in our estimate. Well now what we can do with quantifier is we can go ahead and we can select our whole building by dragging a box across it and we can go ahead and click the refresh button but you can see how this is going to give me an estimate of the cost for all of the items that we've had selected. And note that you probably want to check the box for report child objects to make sure you're getting all of those costs in here. But um, that's kind of the power of quantifier is you can look at individual items. So I can look at what these exterior walls are going to look like. I can look at what the cost for the foundations are going to be. I can look at the cost for this roof assembly. Or I can take the whole thing and look at the cost this way. And then you could take this and you can actually run a cost detail report and you can see the cost for all of these different items in here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, cost detail report and I'm going to take it and export it into Excel. So if you remember the way that we do that is we can click on this button right here and we can just export this to a CSV. And it doesn't really matter what your character is to separate your columns, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. Oh, and one thing we forgot to do is we forgot to apply a cost based on the flooring material as well. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to apply a cost to the flooring. So if you remember, we applied this wood floor dark in here. So we're going to click the drop down, click the plus button, and we'll go ahead and code this to 0905. And we'll say this flooring material is going to run something like 550 a square foot. So we'll add a little bit of waste, we'll add our tax factor, and click OK. And so now, we'll unhide this, we'll select the whole thing, and we'll just run this cost summary report, or not the cost summary report, you want the cost detail report. And you can see how your wood floor material price is being applied in here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to export this to a CSV file. It's going to ask us if we want to open the exported report, and we're going to say yes. And what that's going to do is that's going to open this report up in Excel. So if you remember, that's going to bring all of this different stuff in here. And then we can take this and we can kind of customize it to our liking. So I had a cladding siding material in here that didn't have a cost associated with it because I picked up that whole wall in my exterior framing cost. So we don't necessarily need that in here. Um, you can see how this gives us totals of everything that we'd added in our model. And so from here, we could add our subtotal, we could add our fee, we could add our permits, and then we could add our estimate total right here. So you can see how it's really easy to create a complete estimate in here using this extension, even if you're using items that have been created with other extensions or if you've added them in here manually. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you considered using Quantifier to create estimates? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.